father was in the Second World War and how it's for a greater good. And if without things like these, um, how we're going to protect our country going forward. So it's a really, it's a really good thing, and I, it's a, just our, my chance. So I work for Open Council. It's my chance to give something back for a change. Uh, I guess it's just a symbol of remembrance of the veterans and what they've done for us in the past. Um, also, the present as well, I guess. Uh, just remembering those who have gone before us and um, why we're here today as New Zealanders, and um, ultimately just being proud of like who we are. Um, and and even then, it, it doesn't. It's not just exclusive to New Zealanders and Australians being ANZAC. You know, it's just it's just a nice thing where everybody should be able to come together and um, yeah, be happy for what we have today. I think it's a really big sign of respect, like what our country's done and like fought for us, and like it's not just something in the past, it's one that continues now. Um, the Fobby to me is like a symbol of our history and kind of just an important symbol to remember wars fought for our ancestors. And I think like the whole lead up to Anzac Day is just I think the entire month is just a really important time to raise awareness that we do still have people in the army. It just brings up all kind of emblematic of, of past soldiers um, and, and being a symbol of the RSA and our return veterans. So it kind of fills you with pride as well as wearing the uniform itself um, to be representing those aspects. Yeah. The puppy for me is like it's just really important to remember those that who sacrificed for us so that we could like uh, and I live in this beautiful country